So what is all the fuss about lever machines? Today, we're going to take a look at the La Pavoni Professional Lever Machine. So let's get right on into it. It's really quite a basic machine. It's got just one switch on it here on the side. Let's turn that on and let it start getting heated up. It comes with a heating element that is, don't touch this once it's heated up because it's very hot. 1000 watts. It's got a brew chamber that is 1.6 liters and it's got here on the side a water level indicator so that you know how much water is in here. For indicators you've got a couple as I mentioned you've got this water level indicator and you've got on the professional model a manometer for the pressure inside the boiler which is right around one bar. Now where it starts getting interesting is how, how this works mechanically. So you've got this lever on here and as you lift it up, it actually pulls a little bit of a vacuum, in particular if you lift up fast. Now what you'll notice is that water does not come out until you reach the absolute top. There's a piston here underneath the lever and when you open up the lever all the way to the top, the piston opens up and through a slit comes the water at the pressure of the brew chamber here. Comes with this little baby porta filter here, very cute. And besides that, a little tiny drip tray, but it works fine. It's just a plastic drip tray, nothing really too fancy about it. And otherwise it's got a metal body, a nice La Pavoni logo here on the front. I think it's quite an attractive looking machine. It's iconic and uh, yeah, it's really a looker and probably a conversation starter if you have one of these in your kitchen. So you can hear the boiler is heating up and you gotta make sure that when you're using this machine, don't ever open up this uh, top knob here when it's active. You gotta wait for it to completely cool down before re-adding more water in there. This is really just meant for making a couple of espressos in the morning or in the afternoon and then shutting it off. From an ergonomic standpoint, it's a little bit interesting that you actually flip this porta filter to the left. Every other machine that I know, you flip it towards the right. Now, if we look at the other side, here we got a pressure relief valve if the pressure would ever get too high inside. And we've got here a steam wand as well. And be careful, it's not a non-burn steam one, so it does get hot. The back of the unit also gets very hot, so you really got to be careful when you're using it later. When you're pulling up on the lever, you're also going to lift this up off the table. So you have to stabilize it somehow. You can hold it here, or you can hold it here on top of the knob. All right, it's been close to 10 minutes and now the machine is completely warmed up. And what we've got to do first is let out what they call the fake steam, the air that is heated up uh, during the first heat up phase. So let's do that now. See how quickly the pressure went down to almost zero. Now it's going to heat up and then we will be ready to go. In the meantime, let's go ahead and prepare our shot. All right, guys, if this video has given you any value so far, please give it a like. And if you like to get tips and reviews on machines like this one, consider subscribing to the channel. So I'm going to add a little bit of water because these beans have been really staticky in the K4 lately. So I just add a spritz there, shake that up, and let's get the grinding. One really important thing that I nearly forgot to mention is you have to grind quite a bit finer for this La Pavoni than you do for your other machines. When you are opening up this lever and letting the water pre-infuse at the pressure of the brew boiler here, what that's doing is saturating the puck first. So it should get completely saturated. That actually provides more resistance when you're pushing down on the lever compared to typical machines that just start with the pump pressure. Those machines overcome the resistance of the puck with pressure, whereas with the La Pavoni, you're actually saturating the puck first, which provides more pressure, which means you have to get dialed in finer. 
All right, let's go ahead and prepare our puck. Something to hold it there would be kind of nice. There we go. We'll do our WD team like we normally do. And let's give it a nice tamp. Excellent. All right, now this is where it gets interesting. Most people say to lift up the lever first and then put your porter filter in. And it takes a little bit of practice to, to do that without lifting the unit off the table. But let's go ahead and do that. Uh, and first, watch this. There's actually a shower that comes down when you get to the top here. All right, so we're gonna stop right there and lock our porta filter in. Okay, and now, here we go, I'll start my timer. I'm gonna pull it up, leave it infusing for 10 seconds, then let go of the lever and push down for our shot. Here we go. Five seconds. And 10 seconds. Okay. That's it for the pre-infusion. Now let's start pushing down. Here we go. And it does require quite a bit of effort. But it's looking good. Yeah. There we go. That's a nice looking shot. All right, that's what the shot looks like right there. All right, that one does taste pretty good. It is a little bit sour, to be honest. I think I need a little bit more pressure, um, maybe grinding slightly finer. Let's give it another shot. All right, so here we go with the second shot, and I am two clicks finer here with the K4. Let's see if we get the correct pressure now. All right, here we go, round two. Quite a bit of pressure here. Yeah, that's a lot more pressure this time than I need. Ooh, it's looking pretty good too. Almost there. Oh, gotta use my stomach muscles. Okay. Woo. That's a workout. All right, that is uh, slightly more than a two to one ratio. And that is what that shot looks like right there. Pretty good. Nice crema on top. That's definitely better. That's more well rounded than before. Slightly on the hot side. However, I can see it's steaming right now. But it's got some pretty decent body to it. Uh, I can taste some sweetness. But yeah, that is a pretty tasty shot. And making it with the La Pavoni is fun. Although it does require a good amount of practice. All right, let's turn the machine off and pull a facet. So what can I say about the La Pavoni Professional after having used it? I've pulled maybe 15 shots or so. I've tried steaming with it a couple of times. That was quite challenging. So what I like about the machine is the iconic aesthetics. I like the haptic feedback of the lever here. I like the idea of being able to experiment with the pre-infusion time and having to get the grind just right in order to get the proper pressure as you're pulling down for your extraction. What I do find challenging about the machine is the heat. Sometimes it seems like the shots are actually too hot and that seems to be a common issue with this machine is after it's left on for a while, the brew group gets quite hot. So you do have to watch your temperature and make sure to flush the brew group before pulling an espresso. I also do find it quite challenging to steam milk with this machine 
but it comes with a three hole tip. And I do believe that if it came with just a one hole tip at the proper angle, it would probably be a lot easier to steam with. But all in all, a very interesting machine, a machine that goes back in time a long ways and a machine in which when you do pull yourself a really nice shot, you can give yourself a pat on the back and know that you've learned quite a bit about espresso extractions. All right, guys, I hope this video was helpful for you. And if so, please give it a like. Check out my other videos. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. And until next time, I say happy coffee drinking and happy espresso drinking. Bye now.